the cheaper iPhone and Oprah is in. Let's get to the core of Apple news and rumors starting right now. $1,000 is more than most people are willing to spend on an iPhone. According to a report in the Wall Street Journal, the company has increased orders for its cheaper iPhone ahead of the next launch event. Now, the original plan had them ordering the same number of units across the board of the expected second generation iPhone 10, iPhone 10 Plus, and the cheaper iPhone 10, meaning Apple is expecting budget conscious consumers to choose price over high end features like a dual camera and better screens. Now, one of the main reasons for the massive price increase on the 10, at least according to this report, are the OLED screens, which Apple has to outsource to Samsung and LG. The cheaper iPhone 10 or iPhone 9 or whatever it is we're calling it these days would look like an in-between version of the 10 and the 10 Plus as shown in these mock-ups by Japanese blog site Mako Takara. It would have a 6-inch LCD screen, aluminum frame and single camera priced at around $699. So let's not pretend for a second that this is a cheap iPhone, but rather the entry level price for every iPhone before the 10. But here's the kicker. It may not be available until November. Just blame it on the notch. According to a 95 Mac report, they're having a hard time cutting into the LCD panel, causing production delays for this model only. But the article actually cites a sketchy Korean report. So take it with a grain of salt. But enough with the rumors, here's something I can say for a fact. Apple is serious about creating original content. How serious? Oprah serious. That's right, Apple has signed on the talk show mogul to create original content as producer, talk show host, actress, who even cares, it's Oprah. The bigger question here though is what Apple is planning to do with this content. Steven Spielberg, JJ Abrams, Reese Witherspoon, Jennifer Aniston, and a slew of other big names are also on board, but we're not exactly sure for what. And they might not either, but according to Recode, it could be one of three options. One, a subscription-based service like Netflix, but cheaper. An Amazon Prime-like bulk subscription, which would include services like Apple Music and Apple Care. And lastly, it's gonna give you the content for free. Yes, you heard me right. Apple is actually giving something away. Now in this scenario, it would be to feed the TV app on iOS and tvOS, so it would likely come with advertisement, but still. Or it could be all of the above. We may have to wait and see because Apple is not expected to launch anything until spring of 2019 at the absolute earliest, at least according to this report. It seems like we're not done unpacking iOS 12 features. And unlike Memojis, this next one could literally be a lifesaver. This week, Apple announced a new feature in iOS 12 that would automatically share your location with emergency dispatchers when you call 911. Now, this would allow dispatchers to more accurately pinpoint your location and send help faster. Apple said the location information will only be shared when you make the call and only the responding 911 center will have access to this data. And you can always opt out in the settings, but why would you? Now it's not clear whether this feature will roll out in the official iOS 12 launch or if it will come as a later update, but Apple did say it will be getting to users by the end of this year. 25 years ago this week marks the official departure of John Scully as CEO of Apple after a series of bad years for the company. The former Pepsi exec was behind some of the most memorable marketing campaigns and product launches in Apple's history, but he was also one of the main reasons behind Steve Jobs' resignation in 1985. Now, as we all know, Jobs eventually came back after Scully left and turned it all around, but legend has it, he never forgave Scully. And that's it for your Apple update, but come back next week for more news and rumors on the Apple Core. Also, let me know how you wanna see Apple roll out its original content. Hit me up on the comment section below or on Twitter. And remember to like and subscribe to keep up with the latest.